What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the character data types. So let's get started. Now, when uh, using a character data type we use the character C-H-A-R. This is our character data type, it's short for character. We hit space, now we got to give our variable a name. So you can name it whatever you want, I'm going to call mine red. Now we're going to hit space again, we're going to use the equal uh, sign here, then we're going to hit space. Now we're going to use a set of double, I'm sorry, a set of single quotes because it's a character and end it with a semicolon over here because it's a statement. Now in between the set of single quotes, we're going to type in the character we want to assign to this variable. So it could be any character that's on the keyboard. It could be capital K or it doesn't have to be on a keyboard. It could be any character in general. So you could type in capital A, you could type in three, you could type in lowercase a, you could type in K, you could type in capital K, it doesn't really matter. So let's start with this capital K here. So let's just print it out on the screen. I'm going to use the system that out the print LN. So let's start off by typing in capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print, LN, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon, right? In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our variable that we want to print out on the screen. And our variable name is red. So let's just type in red in here. And let's hit play, see what happens. Now, as you can see, it printed out K down here. Now, again, let's try another one. Let's try, let's say, capital A. Or let's say lowercase a, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to hit play here. And it printed out lowercase a. Let's try another one. Let's try this time a symbol. I'll try this dollar symbol here. So this dollar symbol is a character, so it will also print out on the screen. I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, it printed out this dollar symbol. Now let's try an, a uh, number character here. Let's try, let's say, 5, right? Now, this is character 5. This is not numeric 5. So when declaring a variable, it, the, the variable cannot have a numeric value. I mean, we can print out character 5 on the screen, but this is not numeric 5. We would have to use int or double or long for that. Uh, and I, I'm going to give you an example right now. Let's say uh, we wanted to do some math. Let's say we wanted to uh, do red plus red, right? So oh, I'm sorry. Let's do red equals red plus, let's say, 1, right? And then with a semicolon. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit play here. As you see, we get this error message here. I'm going to hit proceed. Now, we get this error message because, again, this is character 5. This is not numeric 5. So that's why we can't use it to do like uh, arithmetic or any type of numeric operation. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.